Today in my series Flip Through and Review, we're gonna be going over Sadlier's Vocabulary Workshop. This is the Enrich Edition. So if, even if you have seen this curricular before, the Enrich Edition has some new features and new structures. This is level A, which is equivalent to sixth grade. However, this is available for grades one through 12. So stick with me, I'll tell you all about it. Do you look at me and see that I'm the type of girl you're not really that used to? Welcome back, friends. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Erlene with Erlene and Company. Today, as I said before, I'm going to go over Sally or Vocabulary Workshop. This is um, an element of English language arts that a lot of folks struggle with or try to find something that works and it's not completely dull or mind numbing. <laughs> and then when it comes to the upper grades, it gets a little bit tricky. So you guys know that I really focus now on middle and high school. Um, but however, know that this is available for the elementary ages from grades one to five, the format looks a little bit different. Um, instead of levels in letters, it's gonna be colors, um, but it will indicate it. If you purchase it through Rainbow Resource like I did, it will tell you what the equivalent grade is. Um, you could also purchase it on Amazon and all that jazz. I'll put the Amazon link in my captions down below, but um, Rainbow Resource also has it. There is a teacher guide that you can purchase with it. I do not have it for this level. Um, however, I will be getting it for the next one, not because you necessarily need it. It's just I am the type of person, if there's a teacher guide, I want it. It wasn't available at the time that I purchased it, but I did look um, on the online database and stuff like that, what it has, obviously, the answer keys and things like that. Can you figure out the answers? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, you, you definitely can. But if this is something that is a weakness to you, go ahead and grab the teacher guide as well. There is an online component um, to this vocabulary curricula, and um, you go and you can actually take a look now um, you know even with not having this just to get an idea of the extensions um, the vocabulary workshop.com um, is going to have you know games flashcards interactive quizzes and puzzles audio passages and things like that to extend the lessons this is a total of 15 units those units can be spread out throughout the year or maybe your kiddo it blows through it and you can do two levels in one grade but really you can expand this beyond that or maybe um, you know just structure it however you like. Um, in the new edition, the new um, added features, you have the reading passages, the writing opportunities. You don't have to use every component of it, especially if you have those elements in your full language arts program and you don't want to like overwhelm your kiddo, you don't have to. So there's vocabulary and contents. Love that, okay? Word study activities, um, and then you have the high interest Other reads. thing is you're gonna see some QR codes throughout. In those QR codes, you are gonna be able to listen to the pronunciation of the words in the passage or for uh, the words in that unit. Um, they'll be used in a sentence. Let's take a quick look of how the QR code works. So I'm doing this right from the phone, um, and it will take you straight into, for this instance, an interactive quiz. And this is for the unit. So this is a practice quiz before they even work on the stuff that's in the book they can do some additional online practice as well. But let's take a look if it's one of the passage page. Again, I'm just using my phone here, so let's just take a look at what happens when you select um, the QR code from the passage page. Let's take a listen. Contemporary. Contemporary. Contemporary functions as two parts of speech. It can be used as an adjective, meaning belonging to the same period of time, or as a noun, meaning a person of the same time. The librarian made one display of books about contemporary history and another about ancient history. Monet and Renoir were contemporaries in French Impressionism. Your turn. Say contemporary. So as you can one see, there's time. multiple approaches within this program, so it's not just a book. Contents, you start with some lessons that um, it's going to build out throughout the year, and you can go back to those lessons um, multiple times just to kind of refresh and to look at those um, context clues as well. So you have vocabulary strategy, vocabulary and reading, working with analogies, and here's the 15 units. You're also gonna have some built-in review or tests and some word study in between. So you have the 15 units, you have some reviews on top of that, and then you have some word study. So you're gonna see the first thing that you are going to start with your vocabulary is gonna be in context with the passage, then definitions and exercises, and then vocabulary and context in literary text. And it's gonna have different literary texts. Um, have an interview. Here you have an expository essay. You have a persuasive speech. 
you have um, informational essay, a textbook entry, which is not a common thing you see, right? Textbook entries, they do tend to look differently. Okay. Literary, you know, it's just like very different um, mix. It's a big mix of stuff. So again, you have an interview, a log, a humorous essay, a compare and contrast essay, and a magazine article. So it is a good mix. I don't around. see um, too often. I see it in some um, curricula or grammar curriculas and such, but not too often. And this is the three types of context clues. So restatement clue, contrast clue, and inference clue. And then we talk about that and have some practices along with that. So when they're looking at the words continuing on through the year, they can adapt these to words that are uh, not seen here in these units that are not covered in these Here units. you have some work structure. You go over prefix, suffix, roots, and bases, all the parts, you know, all that jazz. I have certain things marked here. Um, vocabulary and reading. Um, you have kinds of questions. You go over main idea, detailed questions, or like when you do close reading, if you've heard of that. Um, vocabulary and context questions, um, where you're pulling some text or, references. Um, strategies, working with analogies, and you're gonna see that with wordplay, um, or I call it wordplay, but like the word study. So in effort not to show my daughter's work, I'm pushing a little bit forward. So a unit starts with a passage to read. You're gonna see that there's gonna be bold letters, um, words throughout, and those are going to be your vocabulary words that are used within the passage that you are going to um, be working with um, throughout the unit. These are not all the words. There's 20 words per um, unit. So um, you can expand that however you like or however long you think you need to take with it. For example, this is gonna be an informational There's essay. different types of context writing that you're gonna see. Um, and whether it's nonfiction, you know, then they're gonna have like some high interest reads as well. Here is where you would go ahead and scan that QR next code. page. You're gonna see the definitions. Um, and again, it's gonna remind you that there's interactive games and on um, the online component that you can go to. So here you're gonna see what part of speech it, it um, how it's used, whether it's used in, in several forms, like a noun and a verb, for example, here, and then inserting it into the sentence. You're also gonna see the synonym and antonyms um, throughout as well, and be able to grab some under, uh, understanding as you're looking at it within the definition. So what's cool about this is that um, a lot of the vocab, um, the kiddos are um, spending time going ahead and researching the word, um, looking it up on a dictionary, which is all a great, great thing. And my daughter has, do uh, both of them have done that for a while. But this really allows them to play around with the word um, more without taking up too much of your school day if they're not spending like 20 minutes looking up words on a dictionary, which is still a very important task. I, I have my kiddos do it old school. Um, if they're struggling to find a dictionary or for whatever reason it's not there, um, then they can go ahead and look up the answer online of what the definition is. But here, when they're practicing this, they have not seen the definition of the word yet. So when you move on to here, then they can see, okay, yes, that, that is what I thought it meant. But they're looking for those context clues within the passage before they move on to here. So you can expand on that before you open this page because here is going to give them the answer using on this current year we used all through elementary the merriam-webster elementary dictionary and i'll just show you really quick the difference between these because i think it's still a great idea um, to have them even if they don't have to to learn that skill of looking up the words in a dictionary that um skill in itself old school i know i know that everybody can just do it on online and have a merry day but um uh, i always As found you can it. See, it's more colorful. It has like, you know, the letters highlighted. Um, and it also, it has kind of like a bigger text. There is a lot of pictures also throughout in this dictionary, but it's still a very hunky. Um, there was very, very few times that a word was not in here. I think I can count it in less than one hand. So this is the elementary level. And then it goes over how to use a dictionary. It doesn't go just straight into a dictionary. I'm just like flipping really quickly. Um, so they can learn the skills. Is the middle school one. And obviously the regular Miriam Webster would be like high school and up. All right, so this is um, the revised edition. And I'll also link 
um, this in the captions below if you're interested. As you can see, this has more of that familiar look of a dictionary you grew up with, with that kind of softer, you know, kind of newspaper feel. Not really newspaper, I lie, but you know, something similar. But the texts are smaller because they're gonna fit a lot more words in it. The pictures are black and white, um, but they're gonna have quite a bit. So every, all the elements are still um, there, the part of speech and all that jazz, is just gonna have way, way more words. Um, and it does still go over how to use a dictionary, but you can tell that you're not in the elementary stages anymore. So it has all this, and this is a big one. Um, if you're looking to have a dictionary on top of your vocabulary. Once done with curriculum. this exercise, as you can see, there's 20 words and that is true um, throughout uh, for each unit. Then you have choosing the right word. So you select um, from the bold um, words in the sentence, the one that fits um, within the context, like the correct one. Um, and that is an exercise that is predictable because it follows the same thing, definition, choosing the right word. Um, then you have the synonyms, antonyms, and then completing the sentence. Um, you can have your kiddo write right on here, um, I do. And um, then writing words in action. So here's your opportunity to expand and do some writing within the context of vocabulary um, and being able to span that. So look back uh, from fire arrows to space flight, a history and then it goes over, you know, what to think about, what to focus, and then incorporate at least two details from your, in your passage and three unit words in your writing. And then just gives them a writing assignment using the um, um, however many words it asks you. Vocabulary in contents, literary text. Um, and again, you have an interactive element here. So this is an interactive one. Has some um, some differences of wh the ways they look um, versus the middle school and up or secondary school. Then you have review. Um, for unit seven through nine. So read the following passage with some of the words then you have, that you have studied and then answer the questions on this page. So here is like looking bird and then it has a passage on here and you see that the, um, the lines or numbers are um, numbered for you. So if a question pertains to that, especially if your kiddo has any kind of learning disability, dyslexia or anything, or you know, just um, some visually processing disorder, it, it really helps to have a little bit of accommodations, such as something as simple as telling them what line to go look back on. Or maybe just, you know, they just need that extra help. So um, here they will have um, some review questions to go back on the previous words. Because one of the things that is my biggest grime is with, you know, especially spelling programs, is that they don't revisit those words ever again. That's not true with this. With the workshop, they revisit the words over and over again of the ones they've already um, learned. So here you have two word completion to review. So you can see how you can stretch this on, especially if you don't do vocab every day. You can stretch this on for um, quite a bit. So even these 15 units can take you the whole school year. So two word completions, um, adages. Um, again, this is a word study section. Writing with adages, uh, denotation, connotations. Uh, again, this is the word study that continues, shades of meaning, um, and then just switches up the different activities so it's not all the same or fill in the blank or whatever or not. Um, expressive connotations, challenge using connotations, um, then the classical roots. Hey, my classical homeschoolers and stuff, here you go. Um, the Greek root, um, Greek root log appears in logical. The word means capable of reasoning and reasoning expressed through speech and discourse. Some of the words about speech or speaking are based on the same root. They're listed below. So it gives them um, an example. It gives them the definition. It gives them a point of reference and then they get to practice. All right. And then that is for the classical root um, word study. And then you go into your next unit. So let me just take you um, through just a little quickie flippy through as you can see it just continues with the same format and again you have that writing words in action so if you're looking for more writing but making it um connect with what you're studying you can see that and that's how you look. so obviously in this text you're not going to see any answers so if you need that teacher guide you need that teacher guide okay um then here you have uh, a review again and it ends with the index and final mastery test so you have the word study and then you have 
a final mastery test, select two words or expressions that are most uh, nearly the same and in this meaning. This is the final test for the whole year or semester, however you fit this. Uh, final mastery test and um, supplying words in context, then word association. And then you have a mastered word list and the page that you have it in. So if you're looking for a particular word or something is just not clicking and you don't remember what unit or lesson that was taught in, you can look at it here from alphabetical order and to be taken right to the page where that word was covered. Um, so it's a good point of reference. And here um, you have some additional for the index as and well. For your kiddos that um, are college bound and uh, you really need to get those like vocabulary there. So, you know, they're practicing for SATs, ACTs and all that jazz. Let's prepare them for that higher um, level learning. So systemic multimedia vocabulary instruction. Again, um, I can show you as soon as I get the grade seven, I mean, get grade eight, I'm not sure, seven or eight, I'll, I'm gonna get the teacher guide with it. But as you can tell, the answers are gonna be there, but the format of what you see, if you see just from the sample, you see like, uh, you know, a copy of the lesson that you're seeing here and then some expansions for, um, to each one in case that's not something that you can figure out on your own or you just doubt yourself. And it's okay if you don't have that confidence of think or, or you just doubt yourself or am I telling them the correct answer even if this is your strong suit. Sometimes we just need that reassurance that it's okay. All right, so that is it for Letters me today. Are your sixth grade and up all the way through high school. The colors, you'll see blue, red, those are elementary stages. The book is a little bit bigger. It's not this compact. Um, so again, it starts from grade one all the way through high school, grade 12. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I don't have some trick on my sleeve I can show you, but I